When I was young, my aunt had a computer game called Clue the Murder at Body Mansion. It was based off, well, the board game Clue, the Parker Brothers uh, board game Clue. And the gameplay was like playing the playing the board game Clue, only it had like a 3D perspective, and it had some cool jazzy music, and, but, so the gameplay isn't really anything special, it was just like playing the board game, but the reason why this game sticks out in my mind so much is, uh, the suggestion cutscenes. For those of you unfamiliar with the board game Clue, you move around this mansion, and once you get into a room, you can make a suggestion as to how who you think killed Mr. Body and with what weapon you think he, uh, he was killed with, and in that particular room. And uh, I think this is this must be the reason why I'm so morbid is because I I saw these these cutscenes when I was a kid. Every time you'd make a suggestion, they'd have this really haunting music, and it would show like you. It would be like from Mr. Body's perspective as the suspect uses the weapon to kill him. It it was it's just like when I was a kid, it freaked me out entirely with like because of the lightning effects and the music, like. They're like they're depictions of like Mr. Body being hanged and Colonel Mustard throwing the knife across the room and hitting Mr. Body and being shot and stuff like that. It was like it's it's really it's it's nothing special by today's standards, but back in the back in in the early two thousands, late nineties or whatever it was, there must have been some really freaky things. There's some really freaky stuff to show in a video game. And, oh god, the intro movie. The intro movie was so freaky when I was a kid. Because, again, it had this haunting music, and it had the lightning and the thunder. And all you, what you start out, you saw, all you saw was, like, a flickering candle. And then the camera kind of pans back, and you see uh, a silhouette of a figure holding the candle in a candlestick, walking down a hall. And then it, it, it opens, the door, it, the character, the silhouette, gets to the end of the hall and opens up a door. And then it's the candle, you see the light of the candle go through the room, and then there's a close-up on the candle, and the, and the flame is blown out. And then there's this big light and thunder strike and a swell of music and lightning, and you see the silhouette of the the character beaming Mr. Body with the candlestick. And that always freaked me out as a kid. And now if if you talk to me now, I love all kinds of uh, weird stuff like that. So like I said, seeing this game as as a young kid must be why I'm so morbid. So I think it goes without saying as a kid I loved the board game Clue. I loved I loved playing it. I loved the computer game. And so one day when I was younger, I would always draw, like, these fake movie posters for movies I would want to make. And I drew a movie poster for Clue, the movie. And I showed it to my mom, and my mom said, you know, I think there is a, a, a Clue movie. And we went to the library, and sure enough, I saw the 1985 movie Clue, based off the board game. It's, and I did appreciate some of the hum the dark humor of it. But when you when I watch it again today, it's such a hilarious movie. Tim Curry as Wadsworth, the butler is hilarious. All the characters like Christopher Lloyd as Professor Plum, Martin Mull as Colonel Mustard, and Michael McKean as uh, Mr. Green. They they all do such a, tr a tremendous job, and the, it's got that kind of. It's got kind of that dark humor mixed with, like, screwball comedy. And the plot, is, if, for being based off a board game, I mean, the plot is actually really well developed and really intricate. I mean, it's not like, I don't know, I remember seeing commercials for Battleship, and you see, like, the big, I don't know, the big spaceship coming out of the water or whatever. And I'm just like, okay, I played Battleship a few times, and I don't remember that ever happening in the game. So... Yeah, it it even had it, it gets like all the big details. It has all the rooms 
even though they're not like in the exact places where they are in the board. But it has all the weapons, it has all the characters, plus a few uh, new new ones, new uh, plus a few different ones. It's just it's such a it's a really clever movie, and it's really worth checking out because it's it's uh, it's really it's really well done for being based off a board game. So it's definitely worth a watch. It's got an intriguing mystery, and it's a uh, very funny, very funny movie. It's got some great uh, quotes and some great dialogue, some great acting. Uh, it's just as a kid, I mean, I watched it and I was just so psyched that there was a movie based off the board game. But when I watch it now, I can appreciate it for all the humor and everything else about it, and it's a really good movie. Uh, those cutscenes that I was talking about in the Clue computer game, you can find on YouTube if you, uh, if you just like Google, if you search like Clue Murder at Body Mansion cutscenes or suggestions or something like that, you can find them on YouTube and you and and the intro movie. So you should really check those out too. It's a, uh, it's pretty cool. It's still kind of haunting by today's standards too. So those are memories of. Just memories of Clue that I have in general. So, thank you for watching, and more Flamingo Halloween is on the way.